Hi there everyone, so I'm going to do a little uh, instruction video on how to install mods for Risk of Rain, um, Risk of Rain 2 actually. So there's not much you have to do, um, the devs have made it easy to mod this game so you can install a lot of different things. Um, first of all you want to go to thunderstore.io, um, now this is the, the mod store where you can download a lot of mods for Risk of Rain 2. Um, and the two files you want to download is the Risk of Rain 2 API and the Bepinex folder. So um, open up Risk of Rain 2 API, download that, that'll come up straight at the bottom. And you also want to download the Bepinex pack. Now both of these are really easy to, uh, to install as well. So I'll show you how to do it. Simple, easy, uh, I don't know any other mod managing thing that's easier to, to do apart from this. So you want to go into Bepin X Pack. You want to grab the Bepin X Pack, the doorstop config and the winhttp.dll file. So you want to get all three of these. Just copy them onto your desktop. Straight onto your desktop. You've got three files there. Um, you know that everything's all going to be working straight off the bat. So then you want to go into, you want to open up your downloads folder again, go into Risk of Rain API, and you just want to get the mono mod and plugins. These two top folders, that's all you need. Go into the Bepin X folder and take the two folders from inside here and drag them into that folder straight away. That's all you have to do. Once you have that, copy these three folders, so Control and C, go into your Risk of Rain directory, so mine is installed under D, Steam Library, Steam Apps, sometimes it'll be under C, Program Files, wherever you've installed it to, and literally just paste it into that folder. That'll then install the mods, that's all you have to do, launch Risk of Rain, it'll pop up with a little CMD window in the background, that just lets you know that everything's all up and running, so you're mod managing, everything's all there, um, and it'll load at risk of range straight away, so then you can start playing the game. Now, any other mods that you wanna install to your, your modding, um, all you do is go into Bepin X folder, you go into the plugins folder, and all the DLL files that you download from this website will go into there. So, for example, if I wanted to um, install, let's have a look, we'll install the uh, random survivors mod. So we'll download that. That'll download a DLL file. So if we go into our downloads folder, you've got the random survivors there, plugins, random survivors. You just copy the DLL file, you place it straight into plugins, launch the game that'll then launch the mod managing tool here as well once that's launched it'll make all the survivor stuff all the mod will load up um, and then that is it you press continue go on to single player obviously it'll say new on a certain things and then you've got all these new things that you can go on you can do random survivors you can do engineer you can play as different things um, and you can do anything you want. So have fun with modding the game. It's really easy. Um, just have fun with it, I guess. And I'll be doing a few more videos on how to get 16-player uh, lobbies and also other things as well. So thank you all for watching. It's been really easy to record this. Um, I hope you find it easy to, to watch and to, to go along with it and see how it works. All right. Peace out. Thanks for watching.